In a few months time, it will mark one year since Grand Theft Auto 6's first trailer got officially released to the world. And today I thought it'd be a perfect time to cover Grand Theft Auto 6 in a documentary style format in terms of what we know about Grand Theft Auto 6. This is the ultimate GTA 6 timeline that we know of so far from its early murmurings many, many years ago all the way up to present day. But before we get straight into it, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome on in. Please consider subscribing to Project Vice, like, and of course, turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upcoming GTA 6 upload. Other than that, let's hop straight into the video. So when we first learned about GTA 6 was actually back in 2012. That's right, over a decade ago, a year prior to GTA 5's release in 2013. And more specifically, these murmurings first occurred on December 13th of that year, which was Rockstar's first visions of Grand Theft Auto 6, of what they are envisioning for this next iteration in the GTA series post GTA 5. When former Rockstar president Leslie Benzies was asked by Digital Trends if there's any chance that Vice City might return in a future GTA, he responded by saying, it's always a possibility. However, Vice City, perhaps more than any other GTA game, was as much as about the era as the setting. Miami in the 1980s is so iconic, it would feel very strange to revisit the city in a very different time period. And then he added on by saying, of course, at some point, we would like to have a one big world containing all our cities and let the player fly between them and revisit their favorite areas. And in that context, reimagining Vice City would be very interesting. So back then, Rockstar had grand visions for GTA 6 and what it could eventually come to in terms of flying between different cities and combining the GTA worlds together. However, based off what we officially know about Grand Theft Auto 6 at the moment, in terms of what we saw within Trailer 1 and of course, Rockstar Games' official press release saying that GTA 6 will be heading to the state of Leonida and Vice City, it seems like those massive ambitions many, many years ago have been reeled in, at least for now. Perhaps maybe that could be for GTA 7 or even GTA 6 post-launch. Now, I'll elaborate a little bit more on this later in the video just to connect the dots then in 2013 and more specifically on october 3rd 2013 the first talk of gta 6 specifically came very soon after gta 5's official release on september 17th of that year rockstar north president at the time leslie benzies was asked about gta 6 for the first time and it said they have a 45 years worth of ideas in mind an interview with developed the former rockstar president was asked and when will benzies the houses and agarba reform to talk at gta 6 is it even a GTA 6 yet and he responded by saying we've got 45 years worth of ideas we want to do we don't know what GTA 6 will be but we've got some ideas and then in 2014 which a report came out many years later in 2022 by reputable games insider Jason Stryer reported that Grand Theft Auto 6 has been in development in some form since 2014 and most likely in the pre-production and planning stages and this is likely the stage where a lot of the brainstorming and the ideas from the higher ups at Rockstar Games that being the right is Dan Hauser, Sam Hauser, and of course, Leslie Benzies as well, and coming up with what their visions were for GTA 6 at the time. Now, speaking of the higher-ups at Rockstar Games, and more specifically, Leslie Benzies, he actually took sabbatical leave from Rockstar within that exact same year on the 1st of September. Now, this is pretty important to keep in mind because I will be coming back to this in a moment. And it was then in 2016 that something pretty unexpected and significant did happen, and it was that Leslie Benzies, one of the driving forces behind the GTA franchise had left Rockstar Games. Now, it's important to keep in mind that at the time, Leslie Benzies was literally one of the most important figureheads at Rockstar Games. He was the brains behind Grand Theft Auto. And it was in that exact same month that it was later announced that he had left the company. Benzies later claimed that he was persuaded to take the sabbatical, during which his son and several of his friends were fired from the company and his email access was suspended. When he attempted to return to work, he was ordered to leave by the office manager and said that the company made allegations about his actions at work. And then a few months later, within that same year, on the 12th of April, Benzies started a legal action against Rockstar Games and its parent company, Take-Two Interactive, claiming $150 million in unpaid royalties. And then later on, it was found out that this was actually settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. This was a significant change within the company at the time as Leslie was a big part of Rockstar Games and played a significant role in the success 
of Rockstar Games and GTA. Now, why Leslie left the company, there was actually a statement regarding his departure from a Rockstar, which read, while on sabbatical, Mr. Benzies discovered numerous deceptions on the part of Take-Two, Rockstar, Rockstar North, Sam Hauser, and Dan Hauser, who sought to force him out of the company and terminate his portion of a royalty payment. So based off of what we know, it seems that Benzies left the company because apparently he was forced out of Rockstar Games after returning from his sabbatical in January of 2016. And then in 2018, the first major leak of Grand Theft Auto 6 came out and it was reported by The No that GTA 6 is going to be set in Vice City and South America. And for the first time within a GTA franchise that we are going to be seeing a female lead character. They're going to say that the next numbered entry in the Grand Theft Auto franchise will be set in or around Miami or Rockstar's version of South Florida known as Vice City in the GTA universe. But players will also fly to South America for some missions. And it was in this same report that we found out that GTA 6 is codenamed and internally referred to at Rockstar Games as Project Americas. And it was later on in that same year where we actually found out around the time of Red Dead Redemption 2's release that Dan Hauser got interviewed by IGN saying that he's thankful not to be releasing a Grand Theft Auto 6 right now. He goes on to say, it's really unclear what we'd even do with GTA 6, let alone how upset people would get with whatever we did. Both intense liberal progression and intense conservatism are both very militant and very angry angry it is very scary but it's also strange and yet both of them seem occasionally to veer towards the absurd it's hard to satirize for these reasons some of the stuff you see is straightforwardly beyond satire it would be out of date within two minutes everything is changing so fast and then in 2020 one of the most significant changes at rockstar games in terms of the staff there and more specifically one of the most important figureheads at rockstar games arguably the most important was that Dan Hauser on the 11th of March of that year had left the company. In a statement to investors on the Tuesday at the time, Take-Two, Rockstar Games' parent company stated that Hauser, who was creative vice president at the studio, would leave a Rockstar on the 11th of March after taking an extended break in 2019. Now, till this day, we don't know the reasons as to why Dan Hauser left. It is still unknown why he did leave. It is very interesting and for me, puzzling as well because we don't know the reason as to why he left obviously him and his brother sam hauser are the ones that did co-found rockstar games as a whole now at the time and a lot of people to this day still believe that gta 6 may in fact feel very different because dan hauser is no longer there this may impact gta 6's story whether it be positively or negatively a lot of people a lot of fans specifically are still very unhappy that he did leave and less than a month later it was reported by kotaku and more specifically J. Jason Schreier on April 15th that released the first substantial report for the next Grand Theft Auto that the report mainly focused on the studio's workplace culture in terms of Red Dead Redemption 2's development and revealed interesting details about GTA 6. They claimed that the game was in early development and would start as a moderately sized release but still large by Rockstar's standards and then would be expanded upon with plenty of updates over time. Now based off of this article a lot of people did speculate at the time that Rockstar Games may have taken inspiration from the popular video game that did take off in 2017 and became an overwhelming success and cultural phenomenon that being Fortnite. obviously the model that they did come up with was to have seasonal content that did come out over a period of time as well as the map getting expanded so it seems that grand theft auto 6 is going to be taking a similar approach in regards to this in terms of the map getting expanded over a period of time and going back to what i was mentioning earlier on in the video of rockstar's grand plans for gta 6 to combine the grand theft auto cities and to make this one a big GTA world map could it ring true post GTA 6 launch then in 2021 we actually heard from games industry insider Tom Henderson who leaked a fair bit of information about Grand Theft Auto 6 with regard to story characters and so much more I'll get you guys to take a listen to it Master, now what I will say about that is that what I've personally been told is that this game is going to be a modern GTA title now the reason for the modern title of uh, say the 1980s title that was rumoured is because of one major thing and that is GTA Online. GTA Online is of course Rockstar's biggest assets generating billions of dollars since its release and I've been told that the modern title is just to fit in with GTA Online and give the developers as much freedom as possible 
to release as many different DLCs as possible. I would imagine, just talking off the top of my head, that yes, a 1980s title might restrict the developers in some capacity when it comes to that GTA Online content. And I have also been told that Vice City will be coming to the game in some capacity, but the map itself isn't as big as all of the leaks are making them out to be. Now, to be brutally honest with you guys, I'm not entirely sure what that could mean, but what I was told when it comes to the map and GTA Online is that essentially it's going to be an evolving map that could change every time a new DLC is released. Now, of course, we are very early in development and I can't comment on stuff like how the DLCs are going to work and if there's going to be a battle pass and stuff like that. But what I was told is that there will be additions made to the map, including new areas and even expanding the map in some capacity. But also the map that is default, so to speak, will also change every time a new DLC is released and this was compared a little bit to the Fortnite seasons where maybe there's a comet that crashes into the map changes the map a little bit and it just adds to the overall GTA online experience and I think that is a change that is going to be very cool to see within the GTA universe. Now moving on to the characters within GTA 6, yes notice that I said characters, it seems like GTA 6 will be following the same approach as GTA 5 in which multiple playable characters will be playable within this game and as well as this it's probably one of the more liked tweets that i got in regards to gta 6 yes one of those characters is going to be a female character now i'm not entirely sure on small details such as names and stuff like that but what i was told in regards to this female character is that she is going to be essentially the bright one in the group and be responsible for stuff such as technology and hacking which could become of course very useful in a modern world in which hacking and computers and stuff like that uh, is a very strong asset to have so that is what i was told in regards to that female character and of course she is a pretty badass because she is within the gta universe and it seems like the character itself fits in very nicely with what they're attempting to do with GTA 6. So if you're concerned in any way that there's going to be a female character in GTA 6, then don't worry about it. It seems like Rockstar are finding the perfect balance, so to speak, with introducing this character into the universe. And to be brutally honest, I think that it is going to be a warm welcome for a lot of GTA players. I've been putting out some tweets and some hints over on Twitter about small details such as cryptocurrency so one of those tweets said that yes there is a plan to incorporate some kind of cryptocurrency into gta online as a virtual currency now don't get this mixed up this does not mean that you're going to be able to have gta coins on binance for example and trade it for real world money but it's just going to be another aspect of gta in which you're going to be able to get mission rewards and stuff like that and even possibly some storylines around cryptocurrency in some capacity of course if this does end up being a modern gta title it's pretty hard to avoid cryptocurrency when you're talking large crimes as well as this i also hinted at some wingsuits and some other bits of information over on twitter so yes, a fair bit of information from that 2021 video that he did come out with in regards to GTA 6 in terms of leaking out this information. Now, a few key things to take away from it is that some of his claims are still yet to be confirmed. However, some of them are already confirmed, that being officially from a Rockstar Games. The fact that we already know we are going to be getting our first female lead character, that being Lucia. We know that because of the, the leaks that did come out in September of 22, but also the official trailer as well. Another thing that he has gotten right as well is the fact that we are going to be seeing a vice city returning not only that he also claimed that it is going to be within the modern day vice city which is correct based off the official information from rockstar games 
and of course the trailer. Now moving into 2022, this was the biggest year that we saw the most Grand Theft Auto 6 information. There was leaks that came out from a reputable insiders, but not only that as well, one of the biggest leaks in a Rockstar Games' history, if not the biggest leak, occurred in the latter half of the year. And the first one came on a February 4th of 2022, where Rockstar Games confirmed development of the next Grand Theft Auto. It took the internet by storm, kicking off 2022 with an absolute massive bang by them saying, many of you have been asking about a new entry in the Grand Theft Auto series. With every new project, our goal is always to significantly move beyond what we've previously delivered. We are pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the series is underway. Obviously, the reaction to this online at the time was palpable. The energy was so high. Obviously, everyone has been exhausted with the amount of GTA 5 and GTA Online content that we got at the time. And it was just a breath of fresh air to finally hear Rockstar Games acknowledge the existence of the next GTA, that being GTA 6. Even though they didn't specifically say it was called GTA 6 at the time, it was just a breath of fresh air to finally hear them say these words and come out with this statement. Now, after this, we didn't hear anything officially from Rockstar Games in a very, very long time, but we did get some information from some reputable insiders and more specifically, arguably the most reputable gaming journalist, Jason Schreier, came out with an article on GTA 6 and Rockstar Games as a company. And the article was titled as Rockstar Games has cleaned up its frat boy culture and Grand Theft Auto 2. And some of the most notable information they did come out with in relation to this article when reporting on it was him saying that original plans for GTA 6, which is codenamed Project Americas, were for to be more vast than any Grand Theft Auto game to date. Early designs called for the inclusion of territories modeled after large swaths of North and South America, according to people familiar with the plans. But the company reeled in those ambitions and cut the main map down to a fictional version of Miami and its surrounding areas. Rockstar's plan is to now continually update the game over time adding new missions and cities on a regular basis, corroborating Tom Henderson's leak back in 2021, which the leadership hopes will lead to less crunch during the game's final months. Still, the game's world remains large with more interior locations than previous Grand Theft Auto games impacting the timeline. Other claims they did report on within this article was saying that GTA 6 will be the first Grand Theft Auto title within the HD era to include a playable female protagonist. According to people familiar with the game, the woman who is a Latina will be one of a pair of leading characters in a story influenced by the bank robbers Bonnie and Clyde. Obviously, we now know that to be the case, that being Lucia. So based off this article by Jason Trier and the leaks that Tom Henderson did come out with in 2021 it seemed to be everything adding up perfectly in terms of what we were later to find out when we did get this massive GTA 6 leak later on in the year and that was in September of the same year in 2022 when username tbot uber hacker on the GTA forums came out with a post saying hi here are 90 footage slash clips from GTA 6 this was early developmental footage of the upcoming anticipated next GTA entry and we saw unfinished gameplay footage of a Grand Theft Auto 6, which was absolutely insane. Rockstar Games have never suffered this massive of a leak within their company's history. A lot of the claims made by Jason Schreier and Tom Henderson within the leaks that they did come out with were unofficially confirmed within this footage and leaked files. We found out that through this, that Vice City is going to be returning within the modern day setting. The fact that we are going to be seeing our first female lead character, that is Latina, which we found out to be named named Lucia and her male partner Jason in this Bonnie and Clyde like duo and inspired story. And in response to this massive leak, Rockstar Games came out with a statement saying, a message from a Rockstar Games, we recently suffered a network intrusion in which an unauthorized third party illegally accessed and downloaded confidential information from our systems, including early development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto. At this time, we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services, nor any long-term effect on the development of our ongoing projects. We are extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you all in this way. Our work on the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned and we remain as committed as ever to delivering an experience to you, our players, that truly exceeds your expectations. We will update everyone again soon and of course, we'll properly introduce you to this next game when it is ready. We want to thank everyone for their ongoing support through this situation, the Rockstar Games team. And then moving into 2023, where it was the biggest year for GTA 6 in terms of official information, and unofficial information. And firstly, with Jason Shire from Bloomberg reporting and coming out with this massive article online on November 8th, 
of the year, saying that breaking Rockstar plans to announce Grand Theft Auto 6 as early as this week and will release a trailer in December. The most anticipated video game on the planet will soon be revealed. And later that same day, Rockstar Games came out with an official statement saying that next month marks the 25th anniversary of Rockstar Games. Thanks to the incredible support of our players worldwide, we have had the opportunity to create games we are truly passionate about. Without you, none of this would be possible. And we are so grateful to all of you for sharing this journey with us. In 1998, Rockstar Games was founded on the idea that video games could come to be as central to culture as any other form of entertainment. And we hope that we have created games you love in our efforts to be part of that evolution. We are very excited to let you know that in early December, we will release the first trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto. We look forward to many more years of sharing these experiences with all of you. Thank you, Sam Hauser. And this was an absolutely significant moment in time in the gaming industry, but also in the entertainment industry as a whole. The fact that the next Grand Theft Auto is going to be officially revealed was indeed a surreal moment for all of us, including myself. And the start of next month on the 1st of December, that's when we got this beautiful official artwork from Rockstar Games. Trailer 1, Tuesday, December 5th at 9 a.m. And this one post alone by Rockstar Games garnered over 214 million views, which is absolutely mind-boggling. It just goes to show you the pool that Rockstar Games has when it comes to talking about the next GTA, Grand Theft Auto 6. However, prior to GTA 6's trailer finally releasing, there was actually a few leaks that did come out. The first one was on December 2nd, where we found out that a person associated with Aaron Garbutt, who is one of the veterans at Rockstar North and one of the art directors recorded a video of a GTA 6 running on a PS5 dev kit in Aaron's office, showing a brief glimpse of downtown Vice City. And this friend of Aaron Garbutt came out with this leak on TikTok. As you can see to the left, he took a photo with Aaron Garbutt saying that the proof the leaks are real. And to the right, we can actually see him having some direct messages with someone asking some questions about GTA 6, about the map, claiming that GTA 6's map is twice the size of Los Santos. All I can say is the map leak is real. A question also asked as well, is there any other big cities with him claiming saying that there will be three major cities and four sub cities with smaller areas surrounding it with a large lake around in the middle of the map. Another question they did answer via his DMs was from someone saying, will Vice City have a lot more enterable buildings compared to GTA 5? With the leaker responding back by claiming a lot more considering the map is twice the size, they are making sure almost 70% of buildings are enterable. And a few days later, prior to GTA 6's trailer officially going live on Tuesday, December 5th at 9am, around half a day early, someone actually leaked GTA 6's trailer one who bought access to the YouTube admin panel resulting in Rockstar releasing the trailer earlier than expected and this was the account that leaked the trailer trailer leaker with the buy Bitcoin overlay on top of the trailer itself and a lot of people were watching this trailer in a low poor quality and Rockstar games literally were forced to reveal the trailer much much earlier as you could imagine Rockstar didn't want their first Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer to be seen in such a way but regardless of the fact that's when we first officially saw Grand Theft Auto 6's trailer one officially revealed to the world the reaction from fans and people across the globe was unreal the anticipation behind gta 6 is unlike any other form of media on the planet. The trailer broke the record for the most first day views on a non-music YouTube video within 12 hours with 46 million views and within 24 hours became the third most viewed overall with 93 million views and the most liked game trailer with 8.9 million likes. And currently at the moment, the trailer is sitting at over 210 million views, which is absolutely mind boggling. And attached to the trailer was Rockstar Games and Take-Two's official press release saying that, welcome to Leonida. Grand Theft Auto 6 heads to the state of Leonida, home to the neon soaked streets of Vice City and beyond in the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet, coming 2025 to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. And moving on, coming into 2024, which we are currently in at the moment, we have not heard from Rockstar Games. We haven't heard a follow-up from Trailer 1, but we have heard from some news outlets and reliable insiders and journalists regarding GTA 6, but also Rockstar Games' parent company, Take-Two Interactive. On February 28th of this year, Jason Schreier came out with an article saying that Rockstar Games, a division of Take-Two Interactive, will ask employees to return to office five days a week beginning in April as the video game maker enters the final stages of development on its next game, the hotly anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6. 
In an email sent to staff on Wednesday, reviewed by Bloomberg, Rockstar head of publishing Janet Colby said the decision wasn't made for productivity and security reasons. The company has faced several security breaches, including a massive dump of early footage from the new Grand Theft Auto in September of 2022 and an early trailer that leaked in December. Colby wrote that the company also found tangible benefits from in-person work. Making these changes now puts us in the best position to deliver the next Grand Theft Auto at the level of quality and polish we know it requires, along with a publishing roadmap that matches the scale and ambition of the game. And a few months later on May 16th, Take-Two Interactive had their quarterly earnings call where they did come out and officially state that as we enter fiscal 2025 with positive momentum, we expect to deliver net bookings of 5.55 to 5.65 billion. Our outlook reflects a narrowing of Rockstar Games' previously established window of calendar 2025 to fall of calendar 2025 for Grand Theft Auto 6. We are highly confident that Rockstar Games will deliver an unparalleled entertainment experience and our expectations for the commercial impact of the title continue to increase. Looking ahead, we believe that our company is posted to achieve new levels of success and we expect to deliver sequential growth in net bookings for fiscal 25, 2026 and 2027. As we deliver our pipeline, we are confident that we will drive our scale, enhance our margins and deliver industry leading returns for our shareholders. And a few months later on August 8th, Take-Two Interactive had their next quarterly earnings call where they did come out and officially state that Grand Theft Auto 6 is still on track to be releasing in fall of calendar 2025 doubling down and ensuring so investors are up to date with the official information from take to interactive that gta 6's release time frame is still currently at the moment on track and with this call they also came out with an official press release by saying we are highly optimistic about our future our core franchises remain vibrant our teams are hard at work on the most ambitious development pipeline in our history and we are evaluating continually new growth opportunities and have the ability to enhance our business model and financial financial profile. As we pursue our strategic priorities, we expect to achieve sequential increases in net bookings in fiscal 26 and 27, which we will believe will drive long-term shareholder value. And that's pretty much everything we know of Grand Theft Auto 6 currently at the moment. Everything from its first early murmurings back in 2012 up to present day at the moment. Obviously, we still haven't heard from Rockstar Games in terms of when we are going to be getting an official next look at GTA 6, that being Trailer 2. We are currently at the moment in the latter half of September. We are closing in on October. I'm sure we will be hearing from Rockstar Games very, very soon. And in a few months time, and it's crazy to fathom that it will mark one year since GTA 6's first trailer officially got unveiled by Rockstar Games. But yes, now we do await what we hear next from Rockstar Games. But that guys, if you went on to enjoy this massive GTA 6 documentary in this format, please give it a like. And of course, subscribe to Project Vice. It took a lot of work for me to do this. I really do appreciate you guys supporting the channel by subscribing, liking, and of course, commenting as well. And I hope you guys Guys did get some informative value out of this GTA 6 documentary style video. Other than that, guys, stay safe, have a great day, and I am out.